Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by and you got here, guess what? You got here just in time. That's right, just in time for another campground experiential video. We've been exploring east and central Oklahoma. This will be our third campsite on this, this one week long journey. Kind of an impromptu plan change and we now find ourselves at Virgil Point on Hugo Lake. And we would be lakeside except for the drought has lowered Hugo Lake dramatically. Water line ought to be right up here where the riprap is. Anyway, we can't do anything about that. All we can do is enjoy what we have. And what we have is a really great campsite. So we're going to start off with a campsite review. And we are in site number site number C8. And as you can see, there's a lot of campsites in the C loop. We are a 30 amp and water site. And what I thought was kind of crazy is when I open it up, there's a 50 amp plug and breaker, but it says no 50 amp. That's okay. We don't need to run air conditioners anyway. We're not gonna walk around back because I don't wanna walk on the rip wrap. We are a very, a very level concrete pad. Check that out. Concrete patio even. Metal picnic table with a shade structure. Although we don't need a whole lot of shade, it's really chilly with the north wind blowing. We have the ubiquitous lantern hook, so we're gonna be camping in style now. Cooking, little cooking table. A fire ring off limits because of a burn ban. And a charcoal cooker. That's a big one too. And it's fixed, meaning it doesn't turn. Most of the campsites in this sea loop at Virgil Point are just like this one. They were kind of pointed due north, which the wind is coming out of the north. Normally that wouldn't be a big issue. And it's not too, too it's not too bad today. Uh, it, the temperature is going to be like 60 degrees. Beautiful. Unless you're on a scooter, then you better wear a jacket. Won't be doing any fishing from the campsite on this journey, if any at all. So we're going to finish getting set, and then we'll go see some stuff. Virgil Point, Hugo Lake. My boat ramp fans will be happy to know there is a boat ramp. I'm not sure you're going to be putting a very big boat in the water here because the water is so very low. And a little ducky. The, the barge is still, the courtesy dock is still floating though. The monster alligator gar deceased. Very interesting. All right. It's a hill. <laughs> you gotta go way up. You can see how, the, how low the water is though. That white line there, that's the, I guess that's the normal water line. Very low. We need rain. All right, let's go see some more stuff. The sea loop here at Virgil Point. No showers, vault toilets. Bring your own shower. Looks like we just we just left a place that was that away. That was a beautiful can handicap site though. Let's scoot over and highlight that handicap site. C8 
super level. Easy to access. Of course, you can you can really say that just about all of these in the Sea Loop are handicap friendly. All right, let's go see something else. A and B loops at Virgil Point are closed for the season. I snuck past the gate. Of course, I didn't sneak. I just went around to check this out. It's very pretty over here. The pads are, they're not big rig friendly. You certainly want to be in C loop for that. Uh, and all there are over here as far as facilities vault toilet and there's only one of those lots of deer but I, I i think i found a shower though virgil point actually has showers and they are in the very common Corps of Engineer concrete block building at the front of the park. There's actually just four. And housekeeping doesn't seem to be doing a very good job. That one reeks. And the other two on the other side are, are locked. So technically there's only two. And one of them smells so bad you don't want to walk in there. So that leaves us with one. Come prepared with your own shower. The dump station, ooh, that's a glare. The dump station is located outside of the gate proper. And it has no non potable water there. And then what appears to be potable water here. I don't know if that's working though. It kind of has a derelict, a, a derelict look to it. It looks derelict. It looks neglected. I have journeyed across the way. I'm now at Wilson Point. Wilson! If you got a, if you're planning on having some kind of group shindig, and you want to come out to Hugo Lake, well. They got you covered. They've got group pavilions at, at Wilson Point. They don't have group pavilions over there. But they got more cool stuff here, so let's go take a look. I, I still haven't found Loop A, but I did find something really cool, especially for the kiddos. This is at Wilson Point. So if you're camping at Victor, which is over there, then you're going to want to come over here to play because they don't have any play structures over there it's only over here and it's only during operating season as well all right let's go see some more stuff when you're camping at victor victor point which is over there you can actually see trudy trudy thunder is right there by those trees anyway if you're camping over there there's no beach you got to come to wilson point where in better times there's a beach and that's that's what we're looking at uh doesn't look like there's been a beach this year <laughs> but they got a beautiful day use area all right let's go find some more stuff
talking about Victor Point. I know, I was just there. You just saw me fishing. That was about a month ago. <laughs> Can't find some video footage. Just gone. And I don't know where it went. We're going to close out the video from the backyard of home base. And my thoughts on, on the Victor Point. It's a really pretty RV campsite. I love those campsites. Concrete patio right there on the water. Yeah, that was a, that was a great place to RV camp. There's one big drawback, and that, that is that there are a couple of quarries, and I don't know what kind of quarries. I think they're sand quarries, but there's a couple of quarries up the lake from there. Because those quarries are just like five miles up the road, there's non-stop rock hauler traffic all day. Just non-stop trucks going and up and down that road, which makes it quite dangerous driving on that county road as well. So just keep that in mind. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot of boat traffic because there wasn't a whole lot of lake for people to be boating on right there at the campground uh, and the wind was was pretty stiff i caught no fish but i had fun i will return and i would encourage you if you're exploring campgrounds in eastern oklahoma we've come to the end of our visit to victor point to our visit to, to hugo lake I really like Hugo Lake. It, it, apparently it's a great place to go fishing. I just haven't been able to catch any fish there. If this is your first visit to Dude RV and you found some value out of this video, I'd appreciate you giving me a thumbs up. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you, I'm, I'm, I'm most honored. That's why I get to do what I do and I get to go see the places that I get to go see. And you just wait, I got a good one coming up next week you're gonna to want to stay tuned and for my patrons i'm most grateful you rock all right i'll see y'all next week